Hey, what up, beer tubers? Right here, empty glass. Right here, beer that I'm reviewing. Man, Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. Finally. Man, I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while, man. I had last year's, and oh, 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 oh it is so good. Man, if you haven't had it, man, seek it out, get it, find it, pick it up now. It is awesome. Sierra Nevada's Celebration Fresh Hop Ale. Man, oh, man. 2013. I'm liking this. I like how they do their things too because back here it says 6.8% by volume. And if you look kind of close, you can see some junk in the trunk down at the bottom of the bottle. Um, I'm assuming that that's hop, you know, residue, um, leftover tidbits from the tank, whatever, or settilization. Or, or leftover sugars, however they carbonate their crap. I don't know. Whatever. Let me just pop this open. Just like that. Nice and careful. Um, as everybody knows, nice little Sierra Nevada like cap there. Lovely, lovely thing. And glass pour. Kind of aggressive because I like to get the aromas. I'm not trying to record a commercial here. I don't want the spillover. And as for that, carbonation is going wild in there. I did rip just a tiny, tiny bit. Wipe that right off there. Um lovely i like to wear my beer sometimes you know you know a little here a little there smell good uh now that it's all in the glass the carbonation has kind of settled a little bit but you can see this look at that beautiful color it's got that golden you know red slash rustic amber um i don't know it, it one light makes it look one color another light makes it look another color it depends on what type of lighting source that you're going by. Head, nice, bright white. I'll call that a rocky head. Um, other than that, carbonation is like settled down. I don't know if you can see that. I doubt it. Yeah, you can't see that from there. Um, I'm getting streams of bubbles from all sides of the glass. Uh, and as for aroma, this is the fun part. <sighs> oh, I've got to dip these off. Man. I'm going in deep. I'm going in deep. <sighs> Malt, hops. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> I'm going to stir this up a little bit. I want some more aromatics going on in my nose. Hopefully some of y'all out there ain't sick already. I, I've heard some things going around and I don't want them. It's going to mess up my nostrils and whatever. And now that I created more of a head. Oh, I just love that smell. I mean, you're definitely getting a, a bit of a, a multi characteristic off of this one, but you're also getting those hops. Anywho, I'm 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 dipping into it. I can't wait. I'm I'm definitely getting into this. Pros, cheers, deuce, peace, whatever. You know, cheers, my friends. Lovely. I like that hop characteristic, but also I love how uh malty it is I, I like that it's nicely balanced it's a very fresh and nice uh i went with this one for one of my very first holiday reviews because of the sheer fact that celebration as a fresh hop ale um it, it's it's different um all of your holiday ales out there are going to be very spicy they're going to be you know, whether or not they're a little hoppy, whether or not they're overspiced, whether or not they're over malty. Um, that's what I tend to notice about a lot of the holiday beers. 
But with this one, it, it, it almost reminds me of a red ale at the end of summer, at the end of, uh, um, of fall. It, it, it's almost coming in just the same. I mean, they're just classifying it as a fresh hop ale. Um, let me see here. Uh, pioneering IPA is for, okay, so they're considering it an IPA, but yet it's a fresh hop ale. Um, I, I was just like, I, I like how they're doing this. I like that they're taking the higher road, per se, um, instead of spicing this up with a bunch of cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, allspice, you know, maybe some other things like uh, more ginger than anything, um, trying to make it said um, holiday beer. Uh, a lot of them um, are over spicing them per se for the holidays. We just got into pumpkin beers and now we're running into our Christmas beers per se already. And I'm starting it off easy. Here's to... Um, the celebration of the holiday we've got thanksgiving coming up i've got special reviews for you guys to take uh, a peek at um cheers man as for the beer again a light malt characteristic wet cardboard um the hot presence is uh, more apparent in the taste it's not very bitter, but they're there. It is a, it's what I want to call a light IPA. Um, it's not very abundance of hops per se. Uh, it's very light and easy drinking. Mouthfeel is, I don't want to say that it's light. I don't want to say that it's watery. Um, but at the same time, uh, this right here is medium to light it's it's borderline um as you can see very very drinkable and with this thing 6.8 percent really easy drinking um i know some people out there that can put some beers away guess what so can i Mm. I'm gonna finish this one right here on cam before I run out. This is this is just excellent. I some people are writing off Sierra Nevada. They're one of the founding fathers of craft beer. Um, so I, I'm not writing them off. They're they're still a great company. Um, for those who believe so, please back me up on this, um, especially with Celebration. Celebration is a, is a joy. Oh, light grass in it. Oh, the maltiness. Oh, I can't get enough of it. I'll probably pick up more. I've, I've seen some 12 packs around, so uh, I'll be stocked up for the holiday. Here goes. Oh, gross. Cheers, my friends. Do not drink and drive. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of it. I'm out.